What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Hope you all had a wonderful day. Yes, you have seen it correctly. AMC is on the New York Stock Exchange Threshold Securities list. We'll talk about that in this video and dive deep into it. AMC also did finish down 2.89% for the day, but the huge takeaway from today, guys, is the fact that AMC ended up on this list. What does it exactly mean? How is it exactly gonna impact AMC? We'll cover that in this video, but if you guys can, do me a huge favor, drop a like down on this video, hit that subscribe button, make sure that you ring that bell for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out a lot, guys. But let's dive on in here and take a look at this. So the threshold securities list for 628, the second stock on here is AMC. We actually roll this back to the 25th. We were back on, we were on this list on the 25th. Now, what does this exactly mean? Well, if we take a look at Investopedia, what is a threshold list? A threshold list is also known as a regulation, regulation SHO threshold security list. is a list of securities whose transactions failed to clear during the previous trading days. Threshold lists are published in accordance with regulations set out by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Regulators review this information as part of their effort to detect market manipulation. Now, there's three key takeaways here. A threshold list is a list of securities that failed to settle in the previous five trading days. They are published by various exchanges in accordance with SEC regulations. These settlement failures may be indicative of naked short selling, although they may have been caused by bank and factors such as administrative errors. Well, let's throw the administrative errors just right out the windows, guys, because Melissa Lee has talked about it. We've known about it for pretty much a good amount of time now, and we've been talking about it. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these FTDs are a result of naked short selling. Now, what exactly does it mean that we ended up on this list? Well, there's three factors here on the New York Stock Exchange. I'll link all this down below. So one, the aggregate fails to deliver at a registered clearing agency of 10,000 shares or more per security. Two, the level of fails is equal to at least one half of 1% of the issuer's total outstanding shares. And three, the security is included on a list of public on a list published by a self-regulatory organization. Well, we can dive in here at the Ortex and take a look at the outstanding share balance of AMC. So it's 513,330,000. If we pull up our trusty calculator right here, 513,330,000. And if we multiply that by 0 0.005, we're gonna get around 2.56 million FTDs. Well, now if we take a look here in Ortex and take a look at the FTD data, when was the last time we had around 2.5 million FTDs? Well, if we take a look here, it was right around the squeeze in January. Not saying that we're going to see a squeeze like we did in January or anything like that. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, and this is purely for informational purposes. But this possibly could be a news catalyst for the stock. Now, if we take a look here at the Security and Exchange Commission, they talk about this rule and exactly what has to be done by market makers, not hedge funds, guys. So in addition to Rule 203, Regulation SHO requires participants of a registered clearing agency must immediately purchase shares to close out the fair failures to deliver and securities with large persistent failures to deliver, referred to as threshold securities, if failures to deliver persist for 13 consecutive settlement days. So if, when we dive in here, they still have over 2.56 million FTDs at the end of these 13 consecutive trading days, then the SEC is gonna step in and say, now market makers and the market makers have to buy all of these shares, not the hedge funds, guys. I just wanna make that clear. So there is a possibility that we could see a bulk purchase of this in 13 days. Well, 13 days from now, if we take a look at the calendar here, it's going to be around July 13th or July 14th. And I'm sure some of you guys are on social media and see that one broker, I believe over in England, is now restricting the buying of this and is alerting the people who use this broker ahead of time. That's huge and just shows me that 
Essentially, these market makers are doing everything that they can to scramble to find these shares, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're completely out. But let's take a look here at the short interest through Ortex. So let's take off these FTDs here. So short interest increased only 0.28% today. We're sitting at 19.02% short interest of our free float. Our free float on loan is creeping up almost at 100 million shares on loan. Free float on loan, almost creeping up to 20%. You're combining both of these two together. We're almost approaching a 40% short position within AMC, guys. It's starting to look like a little bit like we had before the run-up, just saying. But our borrowed shares today, 2.63 million. Return shares, 2.39 million. Our utilization sitting around 86%. So our utilization is kind of level about where it was from seven days ago. Now, the huge thing to talk about here is the on loan average day age. This is creeping up. We're up to 32.97 days. So we're still looking at a majority of the shares on loan being from essentially before this huge run up. Also, we know a lot of the short interest that was established was before this large run up. So the shorts are definitely underneath a lot of water, guys. So if we take a look here in Stocko Tracker, we do six. We do see, pardon me, sixty thousand six hundred nineteen calls in the money. At sixty dollars, we put another forty one thousand four hundred eighty seven calls in the money. There is one million short shares of AMC available to borrow at a one point four percent fee. Thirty thousand seven hundred eighty nine short ETFs that are available. And if we scroll down here, this is the huge thing that I want to talk about outside of the security. Ex outside of this list. The fact that AMC has interest in the weeks ahead, guys, it's not stacked on just this week and it shows that everyone is bullish on this stock and it's going to continue, not just this week, not just next week. But if you look at this options chain, there's interest all the way out here to January 2021, wait, January 2022. I almost read that date wrong. 917, 122,785 calls in the money. So there are beds being placed, not just for this week, but for the weeks ahead, guys. So don't even think about that sentiment is just going to disappear within the stock. It is definitely here to stay for a long time. Now we do see that we have 23,338 puts that are currently in the money, 200,000 puts that are out of the money. So there was a drastic amount of short interest on this stock today. We see that through puts because this was around, I believe 7,000 in my video yesterday, and now it's up around 23,000. So it multiplied by a factor of three, which is crazy to even think about. But if we take a look here at the charts for AMC, come on, Weeble. So yes, for the day, we saw our volatility here in the morning. We did hit $61, which was really nice to see. We broke that $60 resistance for a little bit. And then we just kind of had a slow, gradual, just grind down, which honestly is fine by me because we're still continuing to respect this channel between $53, 53 and three quarters and $62. I am perfectly fine with that. We are just sitting here setting up for that next leg up. And as you can see pretty much the past five days we have been consolidating within this channel which is awesome to see you guys but if we zoom out here to the one month one hour chart we are still absolutely respecting the crap out of this bull flag which i am more than happy with and we have a couple more days here to go before we get to the end of it but i wouldn't be surprised if this news catalyst helps drive amc a little bit just me, just me speculating on this. But year to date, if we take a look at this, and I often refer this refer refer to this as the scoreboard. Gosh, I can't talk today. Apologize about that. But the fact that we still are in this bull flag pennant formation, we're sitting absolutely fine, guys. I've seen FUD comments on my previous videos, and I've just been ignoring them because I know that they're just a bunch of bots, and I have diamond hands that I'm holding to the moon, guys. But the last thing I'll leave you with, all right guys, so now we're in option sonar and the huge thing that I wanna take a look at here is AMC 258,000 was traded at the $60 strike for August 20th. There was 185 calls purchased at $13.95 or $1,395. That is a large bet in my opinion, guys, but this is just showing that 
Big Money is continuing to bet on AMC, guys. But really, that's all that I have for you guys today. We are on that list, and it's definitely going to be very interesting to see how AMC moves going forward. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.